Yeah, there has been a lot of question regarding my track sled, how it works and how I made it. So I'm gonna give a short video here on how it works. Let's start with fired up and drive some centimeters in my garage here. This is the main switch, not perfectly situated uh, because when you hit branches, <laughs> sometimes switch off track sled. I added some light inside here and not to make it drive in the dark, just to see that I know it, that it's on so I don't forget to switch off the main switch. We have the voltage display and the front and reverse switch. I got this safety switch in case something happens. Haven't used it yet, but yeah. And this is the throttle. Don't remember what brand it is. I used the Magura throttle, but it didn't work well in wet weather, so this is somewhat Domino. It's more expensive, weatherproof throttle. So what this do is forwards, you hear the contactors, neutral and reverse. And then you just pull the throttle and it starts to move. The motor has quite a good low end torque, so yeah. I didn't have the urge to disassemble it to show you the details. So I'm gonna squeeze my phone in, see if I can make any sense what I made. Uh, you can say it's made from a skido. Boogie that I took from a snowmobile and the snow track is also from the same snowmobile. Uh, here we have the charge port. It's really simple. It's just two screws. Uh, because it's a lead acid battery, I charged with a standard lead acid charger. Uh, here you see the batteries. There are two. 12 volts, 100 amps, I think. Uh, lead acid batteries. Uh, not ideal, but they were great in cold weather and they were cheap. Uh, here you see the drive sprockets, also from Snowmobile. Same that I bought the track and the boogie from. And here you see some part of the transmission. And the motor is from a stern drive, from a boat. Uh, it's 10 kilowatts. It's quite powerful. And it's controlled by this... Uh, now you can't see it. It's a Curtis 500 and amps 24 volt controller uh, I think it's a Chinese ripoff it's quite cheap so and here's the transmission I don't remember what the gearing is but it's in two stages and my nice pull is I had to add this rod because the chassis was bending from the torque. So it's like a torque arm, goes up to the bearing bracket. It's a motorcycle chain, uh, the smallest I can get. Uh, I broke one chain, so I think I should have a bigger one, but yeah, we'll see how long this will hold. 
when I broke it, it was quite harsh environment, cold and really deep snow. Yeah, quite a simple machine. I think it covered it all. Batteries, motor, gearing, controller. Yeah. And then you just add something behind it. Like a sled, skis, whatever.